There it is, guys and gals. This is Kermit here at Orange Pickle 2 on YouTube. This, what you're looking at right here, is an Acer Aspire 5100, and it is the first computer that I ever bought. Hmm. Let me turn the lights on and see if we can give ourselves a better subject on this. Yes, I purchased this computer in October of 2006. I knew absolutely nothing about computers. And it originally came with one gig of 533 memory. And that was two chips a bit. I eventually updated the memory to three gigs of 667, which is faster. The original hard drive, well, I kind of wore it out. <laughs> uh, they're padded hard drives. And I'm in the process of wearing out a 120 gig hard drive. The original one was 80 gigs, and I actually have it in an, in an external closure something similar to this one I have in my hand here. This is an external hard drive, PATA, that I have the operating system backed up to in cloning form in case my hard drive inside the computer should die. I made a few upgrades to this computer. I was actually working on its second battery. I have never been able to upgrade the um, Wi-Fi. Unfortunately, I have not been able to find a Wi-Fi module that I can replace the original one with in this computer. I'm stuck with the old 56 kilobit G series. Although I have tried on the internet. But I will say that this puppy works a whole lot better and is a lot cooler when I have this 120 millimeter dual fan purchased in China laptop cooling system with this computer sitting on top of it because those hard drives do get a little warm <coughs> well I'm kind of sitting here waiting for me to boot it up and I'm going to have to do so so I have to set the computer down here for me to write in the password not that I really need to do so I'm just demonstrating that it actually works That's right. On my guest account, I do not have a password assigned. It's going to boot into Windows 7. I do have it set up for dual boot with the original Windows XP Media Center and Windows 7. It has a theoretical two-core AMD processor. And I say theoretical 
dual core AMD processor. Because when I go over here into device manager, it only shows a single core processor, not a dual core processor. It won't even show me a thread. See, where it says CPU history. It doesn't show anything about being a dual core processor, even though AMD claims it is a dual core processor that they make for this. And this is supposed to have an AMD... Okay, I have to scrape a little bit of dirt off of that to be able to see that thing. It's a few years old. This is supposed to be an AMD... T U R I L O N sixty four processor has ATI graphics. It did have the Windows XP, like I said, it did. It uh, has one nice feature, and that's the Acer Grid Vista. I can break this monitor down into different different uh, sections of the XP also has Acer Crystal Bright Brilliant LCD Performance well makes a lot of noise in their brag sheets over here. But basically we have the 802.1.1B slash G wireless on this hard uh, laptop. Which is like 56K. Not that fast at all. Well, I've got an external USB webcam for this. It's one of those uh, logic tech jobs. One of the first things I bought for this cam this computer because I really never did like using the mouse pad just built in is this Logitech mouse. It's a USB mouse and it's actually got a very short cord. It came with an extension. I have been using this mouse since 2006 and it has never failed me. I can click on buttons all the time and after probably millions of mouse clicks, it's still functioning. And it's a small one. It's not really big. And uh, it's just the right size. I prefer an external mouse. <laughs> and there's the computer case. I bought that in San Francisco at a little luggage store. I got all kinds of accessories for this thing. And by the way, this computer has traveled completely around the world. I've got adapters for my... I've got headsets. I've got uh, power supplies I keep in there for my different uh, headsets that I have. i got a couple of different headsets that I'm talking about. My Bluetooth headsets. I've got, oh, what is this thing? That's a uh, USB uh, hub. I've got cables that I can connect my cell phone headsets to vehicles with, you know, that's an audio cable. 
external hard drive in there that's got five, 30, 31 gigs of music. Another USB hub of sorts. Oh, most important thing. Should have two of those in here. Okay. That's a Apple adapter, USB. Uh, there's another power adapter for another USB cord, a cord plug, I should say, a universal. Now, I use these things like this all the time on the ships. I'm supposed to have one more of them buried in there someplace, but I don't know where it's at. Uh, another uh, charger. I'm also a truck driver, and I got a whole bunch of stuff that I use that I bought for different headsets and and different cell phones that I have. I've got like two, three headphones. Oh, there's even a telephone cord because this laptop's got a telephone port in the thing. Now I'm missing one of my. What did I do with that thing? I'm missing one of my power jacks. I'm supposed to have two of these things. What did I do with the other one? Oh well, I don't know where that's at. But it's amazing how much stuff you can stick in a computer bag and use with your the computer. There's the uh, external mi microphone. I prefer the kind that sticks over my ear, like this one. This does not have Bluetooth, so I don't use Bluetooth with it. It doesn't have any Bluetooth, that's why. Yeah. Got power adapters for all of my cell phones and Bluetooth headsets and and I have even have this is really a while when I got in here. A little bit of dust uh, on my bag. And here I have a 16 foot USB cable that has special adapters on the end of it that allow me to connect almost any. USB device to this cable and a 16 foot long cable. You got a male on side connector on one side and on the other side you got a female connector. That was a good investment. I got that it's a Belkin and I got it at, at uh, Target. Specifically went looking for it at Target. I've used that quite a bit of the time, few times. Well, I'm going to conclude this video. This has been a great little computer laptop. And as I said, this laptop has literally been around the world on a ship. It's traveled back and forth from the west coast of the United States to the east coast of the United States. It's two or three times. It has literally been traveled across the Pacific Ocean from the west coast of the United States to China, Japan, Korea. It's been in Pakistan. It's been in it's been in a lot of different places. <laughs> 
uh, it served me well. I am thinking about retiring as well. It's harder to get PATA hard drives to these days and I do wish to preserve it. And after all, it is my first computer and it's, it's done me well. That doesn't mean I'm not going to pack it up and take it with me again the next time I leave the house and either go out drive trucks like I do when I'm not working as a merchant sailor sometimes or whatever. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you feel like doing so, please leave a comment. But I will say again, if you have any questions, it'll be a long time between answers. And if you're one of those haters, don't bother making comments because I censor and approve all comments made on my channel. Thank you.